Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today, in part 6 of Mastering Multi-Threading Series, we are going to dive into a crucial concept that is thread priorities in C-Sharp. Understanding thread priorities is essential for efficient resource management in our C-Sharp application. So, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, Let's get started. Threads priorities in C-Sharp. In C-Sharp, every thread has a priority that determines how often it gets access to the CPU. Simply put, a high priority thread will receive more CPU time compared to low priority thread. But there is a catch. The amount of CPU time a thread receives not only depends on its priority, but also on the type of task it's performing. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples. Let's say if a high priority thread is waiting for shared input output resources to complete its task, it can be temporarily blocked. In the meantime, a lower priority thread might get a chance to execute if it does not require those shared resources. In such scenarios, a high priority thread may end up with less CPU time over a specific period. Another critical factor is how the operating system implements task scheduling. It plays a significant role in determining how much CPU time a thread receives. So now the question is, how do we set the priority of a thread in C-Sharp? It's quite straightforward. When we create an instance of the thread class, it comes with a default priority setting. To get or set the priority of a thread, we use the priority property of the thread class. If you see this code snippet, what I have done over here, I have created an instance of the thread class and passed the thread function name over here. That's why I wrote thread my thread is equal to new thread and here I am passing the thread function name nothing but over here my thread function then what I am doing I am assigning the priority what priority I am assigning I am assigning the priority thread priority dot ever not so this is the way how we are going to set the priority to any thread thread class has priority property here priority property can have thread priority values only that's what public thread priority priority get and set so we can set the value and we can retrieve the value from this priority property. If you see this thread priority enum, we have five values. This first lowest, second normal, normal, above normal, and the highest. Lowest means it can be scheduled after threads with any other priority. Below normal means it can be scheduled after threads with normal priority, but before those with lowest priority. Normal means it can be scheduled after threads with above normal priority but before those with below normal and the lowest priority. This is the default one. Above normal, with this, it can be scheduled after threads with highest priority, but before those with normal priority. If finally highest, it can be scheduled before threads with any other priority. Some important points are there that we need to keep in mind while assigning priority to thread. Number one, the default value is thread priority dot normal that we have already seen here. Second one, there are two types of exception that gets occurred if careful consideration is not done. First one is system.threading.threadState exception. So this exception occurs when the thread has entered a final state. Example, system.threading.threadState.aborted. Second one is system.argument exception. This exception occurs when the provided value is not a valid system.threading.thread priority for a set operation. So now you have fair understanding of thread priority. Let's switch to the Visual Studio and see the demo of the thread priorities in C-Sharp. Here we are on Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo of the thread priorities in C-Sharp. For that, what I have done, I have created one console application named thread priorities demo that has program.cs. Program.cs file, there is a class named program that has main method, an entry point of this. Here I am printing demo of thread priorities in C-Sharp. Now I am just going to create three threads with different priorities. That's what I have written, thread do priority thread is equal to new thread and do here i am creating an instance of this thread class and signing the value of the instance in the low priority thread here i am passing this do work thread function okay so what do work method is doing we are just going to use the for loop over here and i am just printing this statement into console thread dot current thread dot name is running iteration this is the iteration then i am making this thread to sleep for 100 milliseconds basically i am just stimulating some work over here that's what this do work method is doing. Okay, so here I have created one instance of this thread and have put this instance in low priority thread variable, right? Then I'm assigning this name and priority to it. 
So no priority thread dot name is equal to no priority thread and then priority. Here I am assigning the priority. How I am assigning the priority? I am just going to use the thread priority enum and its value. What value I am assigning? Thread priority dot lowest value. This is the way how we are going to set the priority right for a particular. Here again I have created another thread. I have given this thread name is normal priority thread and then I have assigned priority to it also. What priority I have assigned over here? I have assigned thread priority dot normal over here. Then I have created another thread and I have given this thread name is a high priority thread. Right? Finally, I have given name and priority property to it and name I have written high priority thread priority I have set as a highest. So I have written thread priority dot highest over. Here. Next statement, I am just starting all this thread. That's what I have written low priority thread dot start, normal priority thread dot start, high priority thread dot start. Then what I am doing, I am just going to use the join so that it will wait for all threads to complete. I have written low priority thread dot join, normal priority thread dot join, high priority thread dot join. Finally, I am just printing this statement in the window. All threads have completed. Right? So this is what this application is doing. Now let me execute this process, see this output. Okay, so output got appear into the console window. See this output, here output is not predictable. Even though we set the lowest, normal and highest priority to my threads, it is not printing all highest priority thread work first, then normal priority thread work, finally lowest, lowest priority thread, right? So you know why it is not happening? Because as I said earlier, thread scheduling depends on the operating system thread schedule. It plays a significant role in determining how much CPU time a thread receives. So we need to keep in mind that thread priorities provide no guarantees but can influence thread execution over time. But we are able to see later point of the time the high priority thread got printed first, then normal priority thread got printed, and then finally this low priority thread. Practical use case for thread priority. Here I have mentioned some real time uses of thread priorities in C sharp. Number one, real time system. In real time systems where tasks must meet a strict deadlines, thread priorities can be used to ensure that critical tasks are executed with higher priority than non critical tasks. This helps in meeting timing constraints, ensuring that the most important tasks are not delayed by less important ones. Number two, multimedia applications. In multimedia applications such as video streaming or gaming, thread responsible for rendering or processing audio and video data may be given higher priorities to ensure a smooth and uninterrupted playback. Lower priority threads can perform background tasks. Number three, user interface UI thread. What does it mean here is UI threads are often given higher priority to provide a responsive and a smooth user experience. Background threads performing heavy computation or input output operations may have lower priorities to avoid freezing the UI. Number four, control over CPU usage. We can use thread priorities to control the overall CPU uses of our application. For example, we might lower the priority of background tasks to ensure they do not consume excessive CPU resources when higher priority tasks need them. And finally, parallel processing. When implementing parallel algorithms or parallel data processing, we can adjust thread priorities to optimize resource utilization. Threads with higher priorities can be given more CPU time to speed up the critical processing tasks. Okay, that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we learned what thread priority in C Sharp are and saw thread priorities values such as lowest, below normal, normal, above normal, and the highest. And we saw its demo, and finally, we discussed some real time uses of thread priorities in C Sharp. It's worth mentioning here is that we need to use thread priorities carefully and avoid setting extreme values. This can lead to thread starvation or other performance. Additionally, thread priorities might not have consistently across different operating systems and hardware platforms. So it's important to thoroughly test profile our application to ensure that thread priorities are used effectively to achieve the desired performance and responsiveness. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.